Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video, we will see how to upload a certificate or create a secret for SPN to allow sign in. So if you remember in the previous video, we created the Azure ready application, registered it. We created the redirect URI. I explained you some of the basic theory around how to use it, when to use it, what is the purpose of it. So in this video, we will create uh, the uh, upload a certificate in the directory and this in the SPN that we created or the application that we have registered to allow this sign in so uh, we can use uh, an existing certificate if you have one or optionally we can create a self-signed certificate for testing purposes only to create a self-signed certificate we will run the PowerShell commands to create a new self-signed certificate uh, let me pull up the uh, launch the cloud shell and show you let me just go on to the portal and take it from there i'm logged on to the portal this is where we left in the previous video let me just launch cloud shell i'll see if it asks me for the storage account or not it is so let me use existing i'm gonna use this one this one this one and I'm gonna do it like this I'm gonna pause the video and come back as soon as it is done okay it is done so let me just run the PowerShell command to create a self signed certificate that I will use so I'm gonna do it type in this I'm gonna store the result of this command into a variable that is dollar cert new new self signed certificate subject i'm going to type in subject <clears throat> it would be cn is equal to demo console cert close this then i will go for the certificate store location i'm going to keep it in the current location of the my profile cert current user my space and the key export policy would set it to exportable and mine is dash key specul signature hit enter let's see how it goes all right so i was not able to run that command on the azure cloud shell so i launched powershell on my laptop and then i checked that if i have the pk module installed and then i ran the same command and it ran fine now i will open the cert mgr.msc to to generate to export the sent child certificate cert mgr dot msc mmc control i click on the hit click on open have to launch that control and i see under personal certificates I would see the date here it was the name of the daemon console cert I click on all task I click on export I click on next I will not export the private key and I would export it in the cert format self cert and I would keep it on my desktop
next finish export was successful i click on ok perfect if i want to upload this certificate i would go to my example app or any app that you have registered in your azure ad and you go to certificate and secrets click on it you click on upload certificate you will select a file go to the location on which you saved it click on add we have uploaded a certificate for it to use and now if you want to create a new application secret you go to the certificate and secret you click on new client secret here give it a description select it to expire in one year two years or never click on add you will have to copy this value because once you are away from this console it will uh, escape and you will not be able to see it again so make sure that you copy and paste it and now if you want to configure the access policies you can uh, define that onto the key vault so that is how you do it so and make sure that if you're done with your labs please do not forget to delete all your resources that you have created it will say save help you to save more money i hope you liked this session if you have any further queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day